So then let's talk about what happens if you write a will, but you intend to leave your spouse out. In New Jersey, as in many states, most states actually, the United States, you can do that, but then the spouse has the power to elect a share against the estate that you left them. So if you said, I give my spouse $10,000, poof. New Jersey says, wait, wait a minute, we're not going to allow that. We're going to give the surviving spouse the opportunity to elect a share of the estate, and they have a special word for this called the augmented estate they will increase the estate by things that pass outside the will but that are intended to avoid going to the surviving spouse anyway. So for example, I can't stand my husband. I set myself up, I create a trust, I create the benefit going, goes to me and then I give it to my sister or to my boyfriend, whatever I want to do. When I pass away, it's not in my estate, right? I've created a trust. But if I retained certain interests in it, or if I made that transfer within two years of my death and it was for more than $3,000, then New Jersey brings that giveaway back into the pot, adds it all in, looks at what the spouse got separately, and then allows them to have one third of the augmented estate. There's some fine tuning around that. There are certain assets that are additionally excluded, additionally included. But then New Jersey does another thing that's very interesting. Their philosophy is we do not want to enrich an otherwise rich spouse. Our purpose is to avoid destitution among, a, among the surviving spouses. So what they'll do is they say, we'll allow a percentage of the, augmented, of the augmented estate to go to the surviving spouse, but we're going to offset it by what she has or he has on his own. And so if you happen to have a very wealthy spouse, they're going to inherit nothing other than what was provided in the will. They lose that right of election. And New Jersey has another interesting thing that's where they say, if you are married, but you are living separate and apart under circumstances that would give rise to an action for divorce, then you also lose your right to claim the elective share. Yet another different wrinkle on how we want things to go. New Jersey wants to provide that in a traditional couple setting, by that I mean they're living intact, they're, there's not been a divorce. You can't disinherit a spouse who otherwise doesn't have adequate means. There are differences in what I've just discussed from New York. For example, New York does not have an augmented estate concept. It does not have, pay any attention to the assets of the surviving spouse.